I'm open for any questions. I bet you want to know about injuries. How everybody's doing? No? Sure. Okay. What do you want to know? <laughs> How much was Harvey Clemens able to do? He practiced the whole practice. You're pretty encouraged by it. Yeah, I think he'll be able to play. Play a lot? Start? Uh, it's up to the defensive coaches to decide. Yeah. But uh, he's, he's able to play. How big a boost is that? Because I know at first y'all were very well, doubtful about him. Yeah, it's good. Um, it's good for the defense, and <clears throat> I would think it'd be good for our special teams that he's on as well. So. He looked pretty good. I mean, he, you could tell there was a little something there, but it didn't look bad. Same thing with Trey. I assume that the other two. Trey's here. been practicing. Same kind of deal. Um, I'm not exactly sure what Coach Grantham's thinking as far as number of snaps and all that kind of thing, but <clears throat> I wouldn't be shocked to see either one of them play defense. Do you want to follow up? Or? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> I mean, I think those two have only played, he and Josh. But, you know, everybody thought that's the starting safeties coming. <coughs> I think they played but like three games together. I mean, that's a yeah, there hadn't been many. Looks like it's a yeah. boost to have them both. Yeah, I'm trying to think on defense. I, I should have uh, figured all this out before I walked in here, but I'm trying to think if there's anybody on defense right this minute, though, that's not playing, that uh, has been playing some significant time. I don't know if you all can. Is there another guy injured that just escapes me on Toby defense? was listed. Yeah, Toby. Yeah, Toby was not able to practice today, so that would have been one. Uh, he sprained his ankle, and uh, I don't know. We're not going to count him out yet, but uh, he was not able to go today. When you look at this uh, matchup, look at this strictly from a matchup standpoint, uh, could it be any more even based on what you're seeing? And, you, you know, obviously their defense is special. I think <clears throat> once you guys have everybody on deck at least, your offense is pretty special. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, we are a lot alike, obviously, in record, like we mentioned, uh, out of conference record. We both lost a big game out of conference. We both uh, uh, have the same record in conference. We both lost two in a row. Um, we both have had a lot of injuries. We both realize how big this game is. We're both coming off an open date. I mean, there's a lot of similarities and you know, I think it, I think it's gonna be a pretty evenly matched up game, you know. I, I mean we we we've not played a game that wasn't <clears throat> very, very close. With the defense getting pretty much everyone back and I don't know if you heard that Boro had another injured guy, mm -hmm. DJ Humphrey, left tackle. Oh did he? Yeah. That's a shame. He's, He's a good kid. Um, we I mean, uh, tried to recruit him as well. <laughs> I mean, is is this a game where you're you're expecting Georgia's defense to 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 really show out? Every week I expect our guys to play good, really, and uh, so hopefully they will. Do you have any more word on Reggie Carter? How long will be out for? Uh, Reggie's another guy. He hadn't played a lot of snaps, but he played some special teams. Uh, Reggie's surgery. I don't know. I guess. I know the family knows, so I guess it's not a big deal, but uh, uh, he, it was a cartilage issue that was trimmed up, and it uh, looks like he could be ready in a couple weeks, two, two to three weeks. Kind of like Michael's deal, very similar. I got the feeling from your answer to Spencer Tillman uh, earlier today on the news conference that this is more about Georgia, Florida than it is yeah. East and championships and well, Atlanta that's and all that stuff. That's important. To us, but um, this game's probably a lot more important to us in uh, Florida than it is to the rest of the country right now. Obviously, both being out of the top 25, and, and uh, you, know, you know, for all intents and purposes, out of the national championship hunt. Uh, you know, I think we still. We're, we're both, you know, dark horses in a in an Eastern Division race right now. But we're, you know, again, like I've been saying all along, I think we're still in the race. We'd like to stay that way. But um, 
the main focus, you know, for me and for the staff and for this team is the fact that it is uh, Georgia Florida week, and uh, it, it's just a game that's very meaningful to everybody. Um, I mean, there's no coincidence. Fall break is this Friday. You um, you haven't had many good run of in, runs of injury news of the season, but it does seem like this week. You got a lot healthier. Is that giving everyone a little boost when you see Gurley and Bennett and all these guys who were able to get out? I think so. I, I did see a little bit of that today. Uh, guys, um, actually, a couple guys had a conversation saying it's kind of nice to have the big guy back. Because, you know, if, if you know Todd, he's, he just, uh, uh, he's just a fun guy to be around. You know, he'll be in the huddle and he'll be cutting up a little bit and keeping things loose. And, I think they might have missed that. Not as much as his ability to run the ball, but they, they missed that part of him too. Because uh, you know, when you're injured and you're not out in there practicing with a fella, you know, and he just he likes to enjoy the day. So he'll be he'll be out there uh, saying a few things that will be cracking the guys up and uh, keeping things light. Is that one of the reasons you, you brought him to a couple of games, even though he wasn't playing? Right. That and that and the uh, ability to get the rehab as well. Those are the two things that. We don't want him to, you know, he, he is a positive motivator for the football team. And um, I don't even know if you'd watch him, but he'd be in the huddle on every kickoff, kickoff return. You know, it's TV timeout, and they're all out there. And uh, he probably in a couple defensive huddles, too, you know, just wanting to encourage everybody. But he's a, that kind of kid. Two-part question. Uh, punt snapper and Jonathan Rowe. Jonathan Rowe. Well, um, punt snapper's not been decided yet, or at least not publicly. Uh, and or I say that uh, Coach Lilly kind of leaning on him to make that call and uh, gather all the information. And we, you know, maybe one more practice before we decide. And then on Rump, uh, we absolutely are preparing him to play. So hopefully that's what will happen. From uh, Georgia and Florida, you know, you all kind of battle for the same recruits. Mm -hmm. um, in a class of you know twenty maybe twenty five, um, how well do you personally get to maybe know a recruit's family when there's that big of numbers? Um, I get to know that before it's over. I get to know the families pretty good. Uh, most everybody makes uh, unofficial visits, and most of the guys that we we recruit and we offer, we a lot of them we know in the tenth grade and the eleventh grade. And there's you know, a lot of summer camps. Passing camps, unofficial visits, junior days. Um, I mean, by the time I make the home visit, I know most of them pretty good. You know, there's a few that I hadn't got a chance to get to know, but I know most of them pretty good. So when I guess you're making offers um, and you kind of have a sense of whether a recruit comes from maybe a traditional family background or <coughs> a, a non-traditional, maybe, I mean, I don't want to say there's, do you consider if there's a risk involved in that? Uh, you know, we, we um, I think we do a good job of talking to everybody who knows the prospect and, and loves him, you know, whether it's a mom and dad at home or a mom and stepdad or a mom or a grandma or granddad, whoever, you know, whoever it is, uh, we get to know them, uh, whoever's raising them, so to speak. And then it's, it's also very important to... Uh, to talk to the principal of the school, to, to some of the teachers, uh, <coughs> obviously the high school coach, sometimes assistant coach, sometimes strength coach. You just you know, there's a lot of different people that you'll talk to about a guy, and, and then um, I'll say this too: when they're on our campus, and we, you know, they're observing us, they're learning about us, but we're we're observing them too. We're we're trying to learn more about them. I mean, I've said this before, but we've had. Uh, our player hosts, our current players who host a guy, come back and say, Coach, I don't know about this guy. I don't know if he's for Georgia or he, he won't make it here, Coach. I'm going to tell you right now. You know, there's something like that will happen from time to time. And, and I guess my, I went too long, so I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, you haven't had to deal What's with What's that show they do? That's it's a debate. That's looking debate. Yeah, right? debate. Yeah, 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 usually I give, I give you another, another 15 <laughs> seconds. Gotta, I kind of choked there. I should have wrapped up. <laughs> it's good. It's PTI. Yeah. I mean, you haven't had, yeah. had to deal with the other teams that are rivals of this opponent in, in years, but I mean, 
you played against them when you were in college, right. and then you coached against them for another team that's not a very big fan of theirs. I mean, right. just kind of a natural transition years ago when you took Yeah, I mean, it's Jordan's. pretty comfortable uh, going against the Gators as far as just kind of being used to it. I don't want to brag, but <laughs> back in 19-something, back in my playing days, y'all know the story? The time I actually got to play a little bit, Kelly got hurt. Y'all want to hear it? Yeah, nothing Please. I go for. It. Shoot. All right. I forgot exactly what happened. Some guy's writing a book, a, a, a Miami, University of Miami book back in that time, and somehow that little bitty chapter on that game, or it wasn't even a chapter, it was like a page or two, uh, got written, and I was supposed to look it over today. And uh, So anyway, it brought back some memories, but we're playing them. And I think we're down. We're down by some score. I forgot what it was. They had like 20 to. I don't know what score it was. Anyway, Kelly brings us to 20 to 11. We're down 20 to 11. Then Jim hurts his calf muscle somehow or whatever. I come in off the bench. Okay. I complete a whopping two out of 13 attempts. Okay. I was I was hot that day. But the significant part, one was for a 55-yard touchdown, and the other one was a, a drag route by the tight end, Glenn Dennison's his name, by the way, and uh, Rocky Belk was the other guy, and uh, completed a ball, not very many yards, maybe 10, but it got just on the edge of the range of our field goal kicker, Danny Miller. Well, Coach Nellenberger, I believe, is getting ready to, we're going to launch it in the end zone because we're running out of time. And because um, he thought it was too far of a kick. Well, if I'm not mistaken, Danny Miller was like grabbing, literally grabbing his coat tail. He'd wear a coat and tie to a game and he's grabbing the coat. They say, coach, I can make it. I can. And he's like, you know, as a room, as the story goes, he's like, are you sure or whatever? And I think he called timeout, Coach Nellenberger, and then he, he decided to put the field goal team in. So the field goal team goes in, and I don't know how far it was. By now, it's like 55 yards. It might have been 25. I don't know. But now it's at least it was a long kick. And he kicks it, and he hits the upright, and it goes in. So we win the game. And I had a little something to do with it. That's, that's, I mean, that's about the only significant thing I did as a player. And, uh, but my QB rating that day was probably like minus four. But anyway. We hit two big ones. So you ought to know you're going to get that today. Got time for one more? Story or question? <laughs> you don't have to write that story. You, <laughs> you can look it up, make sure I'm not, make sure I'm telling the truth. I will say two balls hit our receiver dead on the money and they, they dropped him. I won't say who it was. I should have been four. Yeah, those were dropped. I should have been four and thirteen. I think they ricocheted and were picks. I think I had the same amount of picks as I had uh, completion. But it was a glorious day. That's it. All right. Thanks.